Well, I'm not sure what I was expecting. But it certainly wasn't that. Recently I invested £100 in the stock market with absolutely no prior experience, no knowledge, and with only minimal research along the lines of what is a stock. My primary goal was to see how much money I could make as a complete amateur from just this very small investment capital and document, you know, my progress, my, my journey of learning with you guys as well. So you could hopefully, you know, maybe learn something about it, maybe, maybe it would inspire you to give it a go, but also so that you could be aware of the dangers within, you know, what is basically gambling. Maybe you'd even get a few laughs at my expense. If you haven't seen the previous episodes in this series, I do strongly urge you to watch them. Whether you're a seasoned finance bro or a complete investment virgin, you know, they're worth a watch and I really enjoyed making them. So, you know, that would be great. Thank you. And of course, as promised in episode one, all profit that I make from this challenge is going to be going to the moneycharity.org.uk, who are a financial charity who help people understand their, you know, their money, their finances, God, I said finance so many times already. I know it goes without saying, but you should obviously take the advice of professionals when it comes to anything to do with your, your money uh, and not just listen to some, you know, pretentious toss pot off of YouTube. Mate, they just want to know how much money you made. Get to the point. Right, yes, I'm sorry, please do hang around. I'm, I'm getting to that very, very soon. 30 days ago, for the sake of the narrative, I invested £100 in three businesses using Trading212. They were NVIDIA, Hyundai, and Alphabet. My reasoning behind investing in these three specific companies was not very well founded, to say the least. I chose Alphabet based purely on the fact that they own YouTube and I thought that might be a good move. High and I was just the first one I saw, and Nvidia because my laptop is powered by Nvidia. Oh you silly bitch. That being said, within one day I made myself a tidy little profit. Alright, it was only like a, a pound, uh, but you know, it did show that there could have been something to this. I had just invested some money to see what would happen and straight away I got a return. This turns out can be part of the problem. When people go gambling, the reason they get addicted to it is the rush, is the possibility of getting just a little bit more money. It's always, you know, oh, I'm on a hot streak or something, so they think it's impossible for them to lose because it's like, oh, I've already made a pound, I've already made five pounds, I've already made a hundred pounds. Oh, I'm on a really good thing here. It can only go up. No! That's definitely not what happens. Statistically, it can't. Trading stocks is gambling. You have to be careful. I almost intentionally wasn't because I wanted to learn and also show off the dangers. Sure enough, tragically, about a week later, my stocks had actually gone down and I'd lost money. All right, it was only a few pounds. I was needlessly dramatic about it in the video. Stop! But that was just for fun. Had I invested a larger sum of money though, I could have made a substantial loss. It's worth noting that in my research for this series, a lot of the advice on YouTube was saying about investing a thousand pounds or 10,000 pounds or even more than that. And that could have been seriously detrimental to me. I could have lost hundreds or maybe thousands of pounds as a result of that. As time went by, the stock values just kept on going down and down. I think at one point I lost like six or seven percent or something. It was quite extreme. It did bob back up a couple of times into the green, if I remember rightly, but you know, not for long. and. You know, definitely not enough to, you know, allay any fears at this point. Once again, I did not do this with a lot of information behind me. I am planning to do more episodes of this series because I want to learn more and I, I learn really well by teaching. I really hope that you guys have learned something from this as I keep on saying and I'm going to keep on learning myself and hopefully teaching you guys. And any and all advice that you guys have, I would greatly welcome it. Anyway, somehow after those 30 days I managed to avoid a small nervous breakdown and I checked my stock value first thing in the morning. And sure enough, there they sat at a wonderful, a whopping. <laughs> yeah, I lost money on the stock market. But don't click away yet, this wasn't a failure. This series has done exactly what I wanted to do and I have learned. Since then, I have actually done a bit more research and I have changed my portfolio slightly. And I'm now, as of recording this video, looking at a profit of, oh, it's gone down. Um, <laughs> it's a profit of um, just over four pounds, actually, uh, which is quite disappointing because yesterday it was a profit of eight pounds when I checked. Once again, that just goes to show, really. Despite making that loss after the 30 days, um, I'm still going to be making a donation to the Money Charity, 
Uh, I know that since then I've technically made as much as eight pounds, but I'm going to be donating 20 quid uh, just because I, I, I want to do something. If you want to donate as well yourselves, the link's going to be in the description down below. I'm not affiliated with them, just need to clear that up. I just think it's important. Sometimes taking a risk can pay off, but that doesn't mean that it will. There is still a risk, that is the point. You should never, ever, ever undertake something in which you will lose more than you can afford to lose. If you take anything away from this series, at least please take that. Oh wait, that reminds me! I've, I've just got to check on something a minute. Let's see if the mattress has done any better than the stock market. What the...? Huh? So apart from when I got a new bed, it seems to have converted my British sterling into USD. This is actually the same amount of money that I put under my bed 30 days ago. This was definitely not a shallow attempt at turning the lack of continuity into comedy. Hey Splod, you want some money? I hope you enjoyed the uh, climactic finale of this incredibly poorly executed joke. <laughs> If you're still here at this point in the video, thank you so much, I do greatly appreciate it, uh, and I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen so far. Uh, please do consider subscribing uh, so that you can just, you know, follow the, the weird shit that I'm planning to do in the future. <laughs> this has been a really fun series, and I'm really glad that I did it. You can check out some of my other money-related videos right here as well. With all that being said, thank you again so much for watching, guys. Let me know down in the comments what you thought of this series and where you think I could go with it next. See you in the next video.